Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about for loops in Bash. So first of all, I'll show you the structure of for loop. This is the structure and this is how it looks like. Basically, in your for loop, after your brackets, you will declare your variables or you will write your condition in here. And as soon as this condition is true, you will write your statements that you want to perform. And you will do that after your do keyword. So basically, after your do keyword, you can write anything. You can print out anything. You can execute your while loop. You can write your if else statement or you can do anything until and unless it is under the do section. After your do section, you must write your done keyword. It will make sure or you can say it will close your for loop and it will tell your program that at this line for loop is ended. Now go to something else. So now I'll show you that how you can use your for loop. First of all, I'll declare a variable as number equals zero. It means I have declared a variable and given it a value of zero. Then write here semicolon space number less than 10. It means until and unless number is less than 10. Basically, it's a condition. Now we need to write a condition for number less than 10. And I will write here number plus plus. It means after one iteration, when you will print out or you will perform those things that you will write under your do section, will have an increment into our number and will have a value of one. For the next time, we'll have two, then three, then four, and until and unless we'll get to 10, we will keep executing our do section. And then we'll have our 11 value. And as soon as we get to 11, the condition will get failed. And because of that, we'll get out of our for loop and our for loop will get terminated. So this is why we have written here zero and less than 10. Now I'll show you how it works. So in my do section, I will write here echo into my inverted commas. I will write here value of number is colon space. And after my inverted commas, I will call my variable with my dollar sign. So I will just write here number. Now if I save this file and if I execute this one, here if you see we have zero to nine values. And as soon as this number gets to 11, this condition gets failed and we terminate our for loop. And now let's add one more line into our for loop and make sure you write that one under your do section. So I will write here echo space answer or output. Press control S to save this file and I will execute that file again. So here if you see after each iteration, we are getting second echo command here as well. So this is how you can use your for loop and you can use your while loop, your if else statement, your switch statement with your for loop as well. Only condition is you have to make sure that those are under your do section and only then those will be able to execute with your for loop. And that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.